are getting well so well. Yeah, yeah. So no, this, this little birdie, um, birdie. was at death's door <laughs> and was hemorrhaging in the stomach and so forth a few days ago and has been receiving uh, intensive care. She had um, very toxic birdie syndrome, she had malnutrition, she had um, uh, bleeding internally in the stomach, she had a, a very, very severe uh, coliform infection with about 99.9% .9 of bacteria in her throat being red staining rod shaped bacteria and um, she was only just alive and just able to tot around when uh, she came in a few days ago. Anyway, she's making an improvement, but she's got a little leg twitch, is what, which is why I want to record this in particular, just to show um, a strange neuro... See her picking up her feet um, as if she's got pins and needles in the feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and this is probably associated with kidney... Um, swollen kidneys, I suspect. I suspect the infection has spread to her kidneys. She's been passing large amounts of urine. She was extremely dehydrated when she came in. Um, she's now eating um, and drinking and doing all that. But I will be giving you uh, some paint to go on her feet, um, be relieved essential oils, which we've been putting on once or twice a day, um, just to try and uh, alter the sensational help there. I don't know if it will or not, but anyway, that's why I'm giving it to you. And then I want to demonstrate to you how I give drops by mouth because she needs to have uh, drops um, twice a day. So I'm just going to do that for you. We've got a dear little cockatiel here that is just coming out on her way back from death's door. And she's made great, great progress over three or four days. She was right on death's door. She was bleeding internally, passing black coffee coloured poop which meant that she was hemorrhaging in the area of the stomach or upper small intestine. Um, she had severe respiratory infection, probably psittacosis. She had some signs that made me wonder about um, beacon feather disease. And she also um, was a very, very toxic birdie and quite an eating. Anyway, she's on the road to recovery now and she's been given a lot of intensive treatment in hospital. She's still got a little neurological twitch of her feet that you're seeing there. Um, however, what we're about to do is to just demonstrate how we give drops by mouth. So I'm going to be extending calm to her um, like that and she doesn't like being picked up, that's understandable. I bring her around and I extend calm to her. Now, I'm getting my drops ready. So I've got four or five lots of drops to give by mouth. So I'm going to get them all ready lined up. Get it closer. Right, like that. Um, right, so we're going to just get these drops ready. So I've got a, a row of things here, and she needs uh, another two or three days of antibiotics in the short term. So Baytril is an antibiotic, and we're going to give her one drop. So what I'm doing here is sliding her cheek patches back. I've got her body upright, I'm tilting her head on the side, I'm aiming the drop for the back of the top beak. Then I'm just rolling it in by tilting the beak to vertical. So that's one. Now, uh, she can have some agaric. This is agaricus mushroom extract aimed at turning on her immune system and supporting health and well-being. So we'll give her one drop like that. Notice okay. that the dropper is not touching the beak. It's not coming within reach of the beak. Oh, okay. Right? We do not want to contaminate our, our bottles of medicine. Um, Bactrim is the second antibiotic that we're giving her in the short term, just for another couple of days. Right. Notice I'm just letting, basically letting her chew whatever, uh, um, but not, not shake her head sideways. Right, um, and then NCD is a diluted solution of zeolite. And this one and the agari you'll be continuing for quite a long time. Oopsie daisy. And it doesn't matter if she gets one, two or three drops, but one drop should be sufficient twice a day. Now, for her feet, I'm putting on some essential oils, be relieved essential oils, because I think she's got pins and needles. So how do you tell a bird's got pins and needles? You don't, except intuition or through kinesiology or something like that. But anyway, we're going to put about one drop on each foot and just smear it there. This stuff uh, is a human 
human preparation for relieving, relieving pain and inflammation. Just quietly, bubs. Oh, you're getting stroppy now. Hey, you're getting stroppy. That's all right. That's all right. We don't want the oils in the plumage, but it does soak through into the, through the body very quickly, and that's aimed to make her a little bit more comfortable. Mm. All right. And we say thank you very, very much, and I hope you know it looks easy, doesn't it? Eh? <laughs> All righty. So. <laughs>